Hi guys, Ed here from Bubble Vans. About three weeks ago we launched our water heating system. Uh, the principle of this is that hot air from your diesel heater goes through this way, your water goes through your heat exchanger this way, um, and by pumping the water through we can heat a full tank of water, 12 litres, up to 40 degrees in about 15 minutes. Um, the most common question we get asked is, why don't you just use the heat from the exhaust to heat your water? Um, it's something we've always thought about, but we've never actually known how much energy there is to recover from that uh, gas. So what we thought we'd do is put together a quick video which explains uh, the test that we've set up, how much energy we get, and whether we would recommend you do this or not. So let's look at our test setup in more detail. Here's our 2 kilowatt diesel heater mounted on our bench. A standard length of exhaust which goes into the silencer. From the silencer we've just got a simple aluminium box with a hole in the back. Uh, all the aluminium box does is allows the uh, exhaust gas to expand to atmospheric pressure, um, meaning there's a less chance of getting a backup of pressure through the heater and blocking the flow. Uh, onto the front of that we've got our 80mm heat exchanger, and there we've just put one of our adapters uh, and a standard piece of ducting that allows us to insert a temperature probe which is the white probe you can see there, allows us to measure the temperature of the exhaust gas. Uh, if we bring the camera down we can then see the silicon hoses coming out of the heat exchanger. They come from our 12 litre water tank, uh, there's a pump in there that allows us to uh, measure the temperature and to see how much energy we've been able to recover from the exhaust gas. So we're a few minutes into the test now. You can see on the right, on the white meter, that's the temperature of the exhaust gas after it's gone through the heat exchanger. Uh, the black is the temperature of the water. Now, the exhaust gas is running at 53 degrees at the moment. Typically, using the same probe, it was higher than 200 coming out of the exhaust, probably more like 230, 240. So we've taken probably 75, 80% of the heat out of that exhaust gas. What you can see here is as the exhaust gas hits the heat exchanger, because of the difference in temperature, the gas will condense. Uh, one of the byproducts of burning diesel is water. So what you can see here is water condensing on the heat exchanger, running out of the bottom of the box and onto the floor. Uh, it's quite harmless because at this point it is condensed, so it's typically 30 or 40 degrees, uh, but this will form a puddle of water underneath your van if you choose this method. So let's take a look at the results. On this graph we have our increase in temperature from our starting point which was typically about 15 degrees, just normalised so we can show them all from the same point. Across this axis we have time uh, and then on the four lines we've got our three recommended uh, heat exchanger combinations and then we've got the experiment we've just done. So if we start from the fastest heating with the bumper heater, we got typically 1.8 kilowatts of water heating between 0 uh, and 25 uh, degrees, increase in temperature. So this finished up at about 40. Um, from the big heat exchanger, we ended up with 1.4 kilowatts, and from the basic, around 1.2 kilowatts. The heat we managed to recover from the exhaust typically was around 600 kilowatts, 600 watts, sorry. Um, but as the water warmed up and we got past 20 degrees above ambient, so 35, 40 degrees, the efficiency drops off um, and we typically recovered about 400 watts. So should you add one of these to your van build? Uh, the simple answer is, it's totally up to you. We've been using the 2 kilowatt heater here, we will do a test on a 5 kilowatt as well, but for the 2 kilowatt, um, typically if I had a heat exchanger to put somewhere and I had the bubble system, I would add this to the regular uh, line of heat exchangers um, just because there is so much heat that comes out of the body of the heater uh, I don't really feel like I need to go after the exhaust gases as well. However, if I already had two heat exchangers um, and I had a third, there's not much point putting it in line because I've already reclaimed most of the heat there is there anyway. I would probably look at putting it in the exhaust gases and I would use something like this um, the reason is you really want to avoid uh, back pressure in your exhaust if you can. Uh, if you get back pressure in your exhaust, you'll get sooting inside the heat exchanger, you'll constantly be clearing it out, and that's just no fun. So, go for something like this. 
uh, mount it safely, um, make sure it's ducted well and keep this out of uh, harm's way, make sure it's not exposed to the road uh, and you should be fine. Uh, thanks for watching, we hope it's been interesting. If you have any comments or questions, write them below, we'll try and get back to everything. And happy van building!